student, we are now about to discuss the Avogadro's number and mole concept. But first, Avogadro's number was first formulated by a great scientist named Amedeo Avogadro. So let's define what is Avogadro's number or NA. Avogadro's number is a constant used to quantify the number of particle of an element or a compound. So the value of Avogadro's number is 6.022 times 10 raised to 23. Next is what is a mole? Mole or MOL is used to refer to the quantity of particle of a substance. So remember, in every one mole, we have an equal number of 6.022 times 10 raised to negative 23 Avogadro's number. How to get the molar mass? So first, let's define what is a molar mass. Molar mass is the mass of an element in a compound which is numerically equal to the atomic mass of the element. Remember, we can find the atomic mass of an element in our periodic table. So in computing the molar mass, the answer will be expressed in grams per mole or G over MOL. So now we are going to compute the molar mass. So the formula for the molar mass is atomic mass of the element which we can found in the periodic table multiplied by the number of atom. For example, number one. We are tasked to find the molar mass of carbon dioxide. In the compound carbon dioxide, we can see that we have one carbon and two oxygen. We will just multiply the two elements by their corresponding atomic mass of element, which we can found in our periodic table. Carbon have atomic mass of 12.01 grams and oxygen have 16 Point zero zero gram. So one times twelve is twelve point zero one grams, and two times sixteen is thirty two point zero zero gram. We will now add the twelve point zero one and thirty two. We will have forty four point zero one gram per mole. So this is our molar mass. For example number two, you are going to calculate the molar mass of this sodium phosphate. Okay? So try number example number two. Calculate the molar mass of sodium phosphate or Na3PO4. So let's find out the answer. As we can see in our formula, we have three elements, Na, P, and O. Uh, we have three Na, one P, and four oxygen multiplied by their respective atomic mass. Three times 23 is equal to 20, 69. One times 31, 31, and four times 16. Just add all, we have 164 gram per mole so this is the molar mass of the sodium phosphate so now that you have an idea about Avogadro's number and mole concept as well as the computation of molecular mass or molar mass I am now going to discuss the conversion of mass to mole, mole to mass, and atom to moles, and moles to atom. So this conversion is very important to our next topic which is stoichiometry. In converting a mass to mole, we have a formula of 
mole is equal to mass of the substance multiplied by 1 mole divided by the molar mass. In converting mole to mass, mass is equal to the number of mole multiplied by the molar mass divided by 1 mole. So let's try. Example number 1. What is the mass in grams of 4.30 moles of aluminum? What formula should we use? Okay, the formula we need to use in this set of problem is converting mole into mass. So therefore, we are going to find the molar mass of our element aluminum. So we have... 4.30 mole of aluminum multiply by the molar mass which is 26.98 gram of aluminum and over 1 mole of aluminum. So remember every one mole is the equivalent or numerically equal to the molar mass for us to compute we need to cancel mole so 4.30 multiply by 26.98 grams of aluminum will be 116 grams so therefore the amount of grams of aluminum in every 4.30 moles is 116 grams. Okay, so now it's your turn. Compute the set number 2. How many moles in 127 point grams of sodium chloride or NaCl? Okay, so let's compute Set number two. How many moles of in 127.0 grams of sodium chloride or NaCl? So as we can see, we are uh, converting grams into mole. We will be using that kind of formula. And also take note, we have a compound wherein it is a sodium chloride. So that we are going to find first the molecular mass or the molar mass. So in NaCl, we have one sodium and one chlorine. Multiply by their respective atomic mass. So Na1 times 22.99 or 23. Cl, which is also 1 times 35.45. Add to get the molar mass, we have 58.44 grams. That is the one we'll be using in this formula. So, 127.0 gram of NaCl times 1 mole divide 58.44 grams of NaCl is equal to 2.18 moles of NaCl. So we can say that in every 127.5 grams of NaCl, we can have or it is equal to 2.18 moles of NaCl. Okay, so please a reminder to lessen the confusion whether where you place the one mole here. Please remember that we are just canceling the, the units. So therefore, for us to get the most, we need the most to remain in the formula. So therefore, we will place the grams in the denominator for us to cancel it. Okay? So if ever we are asked to find the mass so therefore in a formula we should uh, remain we should left the unit of mass or grams in the formula 
to get what we are tasked to find. Once we are done in conversion of mass to mole and mole to mass, we are now going to discuss how we can convert atoms to mole and moles to atom. So don't worry, it is just the same process as before, uh, just a cancellation of the units and then formulate or solve the problem. So number one, example number one. How many atoms are there in a 5.5 moles of atom? So here we have a given which is 5.5 moles. If you can still remember, every 1 mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 raised to 23 Avogadro's number or we can say atom. So for us to convert the mole into atom, we need that value. Where will we place the 1 mole? Here at the denominator. Why? Because we need to cancel the mole and uh, remain uh, and then the answer should be in atom. So 6.02 times 10 raised to 23. Okay, so 5.5 times 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 divide 1 it will be 3.311 times 10 raised to 24 what will be the unit the unit is atom next example is how many moles is 4.6 times 10 raised to 24 of a sulfur atom. So this time, we are going to convert the moles into atom. Our given is 4.6 times 10 raised to 24. Our given is 4.6 times 10 raised to 24 atom of sulfur multiply by one mole and one mole is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 atom so we need to cancel the atom so 4.6 times 10 raised to 24 times one mole divide by 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 the answer is 7.641196013 times 10 raised to 46 or if we will round off the answer it could be just 7.64 times 10 raised to 46